human genome contains 46 number of chromosomes in the nucleus. These 46 number are present in the form of pair. These 23 pair contain 22 pair are autosome, which provide information for formation of body characteristics, while 23rd pair provide information for formation of primary sexual character in male and female. For example, in female, it looks like X and X structure during the karyotype calculations. Now, this X and X structure provide genetic information for formation of female primary sexual character. While in male, one is X and other is Y-like chromosome. This Y-like chromosome contains SRY gene, which gives information for formation of primary characteristic in male. So we're going to see the monohybrid cross the sex determination in human. For example, the parent one phenotype, so the male contain X and Y, the sex chromosome, while the female contain X and X sex chromosome. So the male can produce the two different type of gamete. The sperm contain either X chromosome or either Y chromosome, while the female contain only one type of the gamete, which contain only X chromosome. Now in F1 generations, we can calculate by the Punnett scale. One side, we're gonna put it as the sperm, and another side, we are going to put the, the egg. Now X chromosome or egg from the X chromosome can fertilize with the sperm containing X chromosome, or it can also go with the Y chromosome. So the probability is 50-50%. So we're gonna calculate this 50-50% probability. So the X and X will determine for female, while X and Y will give information for male. If we calculate the phenotypic result, so two out of four are, is a female, while two out of four is male. So the ratio will be male and female and F1 generation will be 50-50%. Which sex chromosome are present in all mature human sperm cell? So here, the sperm cell is a gamete which contain either X or either Y. Because for example, the male contain X and Y sex chromosome. And during gamete formations, so the sperm contain either X or either Y. So this type of questions might possible, or a man has three sons. What is the chance of his next child being a son? So every time during the fertilizations, so the chance will be 50-50%. So we have done the sex determinations in human. Hope you will get idea and it will be beneficial for you. Thank you very much for watching.